All right, guys, we're here today and we're working on doing send grid inbound parse. So, no nonsense. Come over here. We're assuming that you have send grid account, it's set up. Um, so, you're gonna go over here to settings, you're gonna go to inbound parse, and then you come over, and that'll bring you to this page right over here. And then, what you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here to the add host and URL. And you're going to need an authenticated domain. That'll be a separate tutorial if you don't have an authenticated domain yet. So we're going to use axmessage.com. And then you're going to send to the destination URL where you want the post to go to because it's going to send a, a post. And you're going to want to check incoming mails, emails for spam. And you're going to want to check the post, the, the raw full meme message. All right. You're going to hit add. It's going to tell you that it's not a valid URL. What the fuck? Do I have some spaces in here? I had a tab in there. So boom, it added it accordingly. We have it set up. So you also need to have your MX records pointed to the domain name, like in this case, axmessage.com, and you would do that in your registrar. So then now you want to come over here to our, our, uh, our Node.js, we have just a little, a script, essentially, part of the server JS that we have. So you'd want to have SendGrid, here's the actual post. So a YouTube mail post, it's the same thing that we answered in before. It hits this post, we use Molter. All right, if you're not familiar with Molter, then it's a separate tutorial, but we're using Molter to parse that. And then we're going to use um, Multiparser MIT to parse what we get from Molter. And then what we do is we come in and we console log the headers. And then what we do is we split the email address um, on the at symbol. So what that is, is what I'm doing is I'm only going to forward the, con the email if it starts with contact support and for sales. If I don't, it's still going to console log it, but it's not actually going to forward the email. And then down right here we have the message that we're going to send, the from address, the to address, the name, the HTML involved, and then we're going to format it in its HTML and we're going to put that into a string and then we're going to put that part of the string. We have an email function right here that takes all these parameters and then we're going to use that to send the email that we received to forward along to another email. So, and this will all be available on the website and a GitHub. But essentially, so now that we have this set up, we run the server and we come over here to, to Putty, wherever Putty's at. And you'll see that this is on a previous, te previous test. So now let's send something to support at xmessage.com. All right, so we're going to call this YouTube test. Here is our test. We're going to send that thing off. We're going to hit send. We're going to go back to Putty. We're going to go back to Putty, wherever Putty's at. And then this was our previous test. It says message sent. It takes a second, boom. Our YouTube test, it hit our post. And now you see it just showed up in our email right here, email forward. Boom. Perfect email setup. Easy to do, pretty quick with the inbound parser and Molter. And it's ready to go.